Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd do a quick demo on this guitar I just got uh, a few weeks ago since there's not a lot of demos on these on uh, YouTube. So um, this is the LTD George Lynch Sunburst Tiger. Um, these go for about $4.99. Uh, I got this one at Sam Ash for $4.79. There was an instant coupon or something like that at checkout. So, um, but uh, as far as a guitar that's middle of the road as uh as far as the price goes i mean between you know 300 and 800 sometimes you don't know what you're going to get right um this guitar is great this is a fantastic um 80s style i mean just look at it just look at this finish let's start with that okay so the sunburst tiger the back of the guitar is all purple and it's a purple sparkle you can't really see it like uh if you go to the websites and kind of just look at the pictures, you can't really tell. It just looks purple, but I don't know if you can see this, but there is purple sparkle throughout. Um, and that bleeds into the front of the guitar too. So like you see this uh, tiger design, um, there's almost like the, the burst of the purple comes around the, the top. And so you'll see some sparkle and kind of see it there. I guess the lighting is kind of shitty in here, but um, yeah. And then the, uh, in certain spots, the tiger stripe will go over the top of the guitar to the side of the guitar, which uh, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, aesthetically, just a gorgeous guitar. The paint on this is awesome. Something you'd expect on probably a more expensive guitar. Uh, headstock's also painted. Nothing bad to say about that. The paint job is perfect. Um, they really did a good job on these. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got LTD tuners. They're branded LTD. You can see that or not, but um, they're just your standard tuner. They're not locking or anything, but since you've got a locking nut, you're probably not going to need that. They do their job well. I mean, they hold fine. You don't need to switch these out for any reason. Um, what I did do with this one is uh, I put a couple magnets on here with some double-sided tape just to hold that Allen, uh, Allen key for getting into your... Um, your locking nut because I'm always looking for one in the drawer and I can't find the right size and stuff so um, just I just put on the back of the guitar and, and uh, you know some guitars have a little holder for this for that uh, Allen wrench this one didn't so um, I just came up with that um, let's see what else we got 22 frets um, there's called 2x 2x jumbos I think um, they just seem like regular jumbos to me I'm not sure I mean I've got another guitar that's got jumbo frets that they seem bigger than these but these are these are perfectly fine these are actually really feel good under the fingers and everything um floyd rose special it's the the lower of the, of the floyd roses i guess it's kind of entry-level floyd rose but um it's fine it stays in tune great as long as you know how to set up a floyd rose i mean this thing came to me and i had to do a little bit of a setup on it um tune it up and stuff and kind of screw the uh they got a nice thing here so you can get in here with the screwdriver without taking the back off. Just adjusting that to get it to float perfectly level with the body and everything. Um, let's see, we got, and this one's got the screw in arm. So you you put the arm in and you screw it in. It's not like one of those pop in, pop out type of arms. Um, but I mean, once you get it in there and it's it'll stay where you want it to stay, you know, it's good. Um, we've got two ESP design pickups um, with, and the, the way you go between those two is it just got a push pull pot, just one volume. So you're in the humbucker mode, pull it up and you're in single coil mode. Um, that's it. Um, these pickups actually sound really good. I was expecting to get these and the this guitar and just be like, ah, taking the pickups out right away and just swapping them out for something better. You don't really have to do that with this guitar. Um, they do sound really good here. I'm going to give you a uh, give you a demo here. Um, I'm just plugged into a Cat 50 back there, Boss Katana 50. Um, got it on the Brown Channel, you know, your your basic 80s metal style thing. So uh, here we go. <laughs> So there's your 
humbucker single coil. <laughs> Coil, I was expecting it to sound terrible. I was, and it doesn't. It sounds good. It's uh, it's got that. Back it off a little bit. Sounds good. I'm getting a little bit of buzz here because of the 60 cycle hum, and also because I'm on a high gain channel, so. That's what you're hearing, but you can totally play the blues on that if you want. It's it's pretty sweet. So, um, but I'm I'm sure most of you're gonna be in the humbucker mode most of the time because you're gonna be playing dock and stuff. <laughs> um, it's, it just sounds really good, and it's a great playing guitar. The neck feels great. It doesn't have a big gloss finish on the back. It's got a pretty thin just coat of whatever they seal it with. And um, it's it, it feels like the more you play this thing, the more it'll it'll break in quicker than those guitars that have the um, the thick finish on the back. So I really like that. I usually I'll I'll just tape off the neck and take some steel wool or some really fine grit sandpaper and just, you know, go through that and smooth it out because it's easier to play, I feel like. But with this, I didn't have to do that. It sounds great, plays great. Um, no issues with any of the frets. The fret work was really good. Um, no sprouting coming off the, the sides or anything like that. Really well made. Um, one of the surprises that I did not know this model had was it's got that recessed... There's a recess here with a Strat-style um, output jack. So you plug in here, actually, see, I've got a 45 degree chord in here. I don't, you know, cause I'm used to, to having that on, you know, normal guitars. We'll have just the, it coming out right here and you want to, you want to go around your strap, whatever. But with this, you can do that with a straight plug goes right in and then it goes right. You know, if you have a strap and you're playing with, it, I like to hook it through the strap. That way, if you step on it, step on the cable, it's not going to pull it out. But um, that was that's on the um, ESP models, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be on the LTD models since they didn't really show pictures of that online of that side view. So it does have that, which is really cool. Um, well, that's about it. I mean, this is just I'm blown away by how nice this guitar is. It's got the um, the access cutaway kind of thing here that a lot of uh, LTDs have, um, which makes it easy to get up to these. Uh, higher frets and stuff, but um, yeah, if you're looking for like a you know $500 shredder, this is just it's ready to go. It's just a great guitar. So uh, hopefully that uh, helped you guys out if you're looking at these or just you know want to know more about them or looking to purchase one. So awesome guitars. Thanks guys. Bye.